Hi and welcome to Kirkton Security Technologies. Uh, this is the ORNA system, a computer aided dispatch and patrol software for security agencies. Uh, today we're just going to go over a new feature that we released uh, which is called self-initiate. This gives patrol officers the ability to self-initiate a call instead of going through uh, your dispatcher and waiting for them to create it. So we'll go ahead and log in and just go ahead and show you a brief overview of, of this new function and uh, go from there. So once we get logged in here, I'll just go ahead and choose the mobile module, uh, which is what your patrol officers will be using. And as you can see up here on the top left, there is a new button called self-initiate. What I can do is I can click that button and I'll be presented with eight default options. Uh, all you have to do is click one of these options and it will automatically generate a call for service with your GPS coordinates and that type of call. Uh, if you don't want to use one of these eight, uh, you can just select from the drop down uh, by doing a quick, quick search. Uh, if you want to do anything vehicle related or medical uh, related you can also choose those uh, once you pick one of these uh, you can just click initiate and that will generate that call so we we'll use one of the default options here and uh, we'll just conduct a property check so I'll click that like I said this is going to automatically generate some details so nature calls automatically filled in um, along with the uh, Call location, which is your GPS coordinate location. Your dispatch and route and on-scene times are automatically filled in as well. The only thing you have to do is uh, choose your clear time. So there's a couple other uh, functions in here as well. We've given uh, patrol officers the ability to edit uh, details along with uh, close out a call that they're assigned to. So. If I want to add in notes, I can just add in notes, uh, property check conducted. And if I come up, say there's a vehicle in the driveway or even a person, uh, what I can do is I can add a vehicle. Place these details in here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and choose an F-150. And we'll do a plate of ABC 1234. Now, if I want to link that information to the database, uh, what I can do is I can just link it to a profile. That way we start storing the history of interactions between this specific vehicle. Uh, if there is no profile created, what I can do is I can click Create. The system will automatically create a vehicle profile uh, for this interaction. So I'll click Link, and the system will automatically search uh, for a Ford F-150 with that license plate. As we can see, one's already uh, you know, been found. There's no plate state here listed, so I'll, I wanna view uh, what this vehicle looks like. And as you can see, um, it comes up with a uh, vehicle thumbnail of a previous, when this vehicle was put into the system, somebody's taken a, uh, you know, a picture of the vehicle and attached it, that way I can view more information. So I'm just going to link this vehicle. Now this is uh, uh, this interaction will actually be stored underneath the profile uh, for the F-150. So I'll go back to uh, my call uh, and swap between these tabs and add more details. And I'm just going to populate my clear time. Uh, Let's see here. We'll just put in some notes here. Property check conducted. No activity found. And then what we can do is just go ahead and uh, close the call for service. And click close. So if I want to see that the that information was uh, physically stored. Uh, I can go to search. I'm going to look up that vehicle, ABC1234. Search by the plate. 
you can see that uh, this is the one vehicle. It's the Ford F-150. Click View. I'm going to go underneath the history, and then I can see that uh, there's been two property checks conducted, uh, one just now, and then you know, one about uh, 20 minutes ago. So I've got two calls here. If I want to view each individual one, I can just click on each call. And that's going to bring up the details. Uh, if I have more images or more attachments that I want to place against this vehicle, I can just add it and add these attachments. If I, if I have more detail, if I know the plate state, I can uh, also add that in as well. So that's a brief overview about how to self-initiate a call, uh, how to add details, and how to link uh, a vehicle or a person profile to the database so that that information gets stored underneath its history. Uh, this is beneficial, so if you ever want to look up that vehicle or if you ever come across that vehicle again in the future, you'll be, be able to see the type of interaction uh, that your security team has actually had with this specific vehicle or person. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you have any questions around the Orna system or would like to sign up for a free trial, don't forget to visit our webpage at kirkton.com. You can sign up for a free trial there, or you can contact us at sales at curtain.com. Those details will be in the description. Thank you very much. Have a good day.